Welcome to 24.3 Smart Vision. What we learn with pleasure, we never forget. Okay, friends. Uh, today, let's start. Um, what uh, What is the topic? Is we have we can discuss top ten electrical interview questions. Okay, these are the very very most important questions which usually asked during the interview for electrical engineers. And please go through these uh, questions and answers and don't miss your jobs. Okay. First question. What do you know about power factor? In AC circuits, the power factor is the ratio of real power that is used to do work and the apparent power that is up supplied to the circuit. The power factor can get values in the range from 0 to 1. In an electric power system, a load with a low power factor draws more current than a load with a high power factor for the same amount of useful power transferred. Okay, let's go to next question. What happens if I connect a capacitor to a generator load? Connecting a capacitor across the generator always improves power factor. But it will have depends upon the engine capacity of the alternator. Otherwise, the alternator will be overloaded due to the extra watts consumed due to the improvement on power factor. Secondly, don't connect a capacitor across an alternator while it is picking up or without any other load that is during no load condition. Okay. These, these are very important questions which are usually asked during interview. The one is capacitor and next one is the power factor. Okay. And next question. Why use the VCB? That is vacuum circuit breaker. At high transmission system, why can't AC be air circuit breaker? Okay. Why we are using VCB at high transmission system? Answer. Vacuum has high arc quenching property compared to air because in VZB or vacuum circuit breaker, the dielectric strength equals to 8 times of air and having high arc quenching property. That is why always vacuum used as in HD breaker and air used as in LT, low tension breakers, okay? Explain different types of voltage ranges used for transmission and distribution. Transmission level voltages are usually considered to be 110 kV and above. Voltages such as 66 kV and 33 kV are usually considered sub-transmission voltages but are occasionally used on long lines with light loads. Voltage less than 33 kV are usually used for distribution. Next question. Why do we require fuse? Fuses are used to prevent the home appliances from the high current or overload damage. If we use a fuse in the home, the electrical faults cannot happen in the wiring and it does not damage the appliances from the fire of wire burning. When the fuse gets breaks or damaged, then an abrupt sparkle happens which may direct to damage your home appliances. So this is why we are using fuse. What do you mean by transformer? Yeah, it's a simple question but most of them don't know the correct answer. 
a transformer can be defined as a static device you have to say it is a static device which helps in transformation of electric power in one circuit to electric power of the same frequency same frequency stress that it's a same frequency in another circuit the voltage can be raised or lowered in a circuit but with proportional increase or decrease in the current rating okay so what we want to stuck on it's a static device and the same frequency is transferred okay these are the two points what is electrical engineering this can be asked for a fresher most of them know this answer right okay electrical engineering is a professional engineering discipline that generally deals with the study and application of electricity electronics and electromagnetism electrical engineering has now divided into a wide range of fields including electronics digital computers computer engineering power engineering telecommunications control systems radio frequency engineering signal processing instrumentation and micro electronics so now you know what is electrical engineering right what is the difference between surge arrester and lightning arrester lightning arrester is installed outside and the effect of lightning is grounded whereas the surge arrester is inst installed inside the panels that is panel boards comprising of resistors which consumes the energy and nullify the effect of surge okay surge means high rise in voltage Why delta star transformers are used for lightning loads? It's very important question. See, for lightning loads, neutral conductor is must, right? And hence the secondary must be star winding. This lightning load is always unbalanced in all three phases. To minimize the current unbalance in the primary we use delta winding in the primary okay so delta star transformers is used for lightning loads what is meant by regenerative braking when the supply is cut off from a running motor it still continue running due to inertia that is moment of inertia in order to stop it quickly we place a load resist load or resistor across the armature winding and the motor should have maintained continuous field supply so that back em of voltage is made to apply across the resistor and due to load the motor stops quickly This type of braking is called as regenerative braking. Okay? Okay friends, thank you. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.